If you would like to learn how to escape the AI content detector, then you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll show you three sneaky methods for escaping the AI content detector and slipping under the radar. Let's get started. Okay, so here I have AI generated text and let's put it into an AI content detector, which is contentscale.ai and see how much of it is generated with AI. So check for AI content and I'm pretty sure that it's going to be quite robotic. There we go. Unclear if it's AI content or not. So back and forth. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to make this better. Now you can go to quillbot.com and you can paste this script right here and then you can click paraphrase. Now Quillbot is going to paraphrase this text for you and then you can see, you can copy this and you can see if this is going to be better. So let's paste it in and let's check for AI content. All right, so you can see that it's already getting better. It's at 74%, which is better than 50%. But as you can see, it's still both likely AI and human. So we need to get rid of this and we need to make it as close as possible to 100% human. Okay, so the second method is actually pretty clever. You write, what are the key attributes of conversational content that is undetectable as being written by an AI? And then you ask ChatGPT, what are the features? And now the next thing you say, based on the above key attributes, write me an introduction to an essay about your topic. In this case, why puppies are cute. Okay, so it actually made a mistake and it started saying they'll explore the reasons why puppies are universally are cute and personalized behavior mimics the key attributes of conversational content. So this is wrong, let's change it. Okay, so let's try this. Take into consideration the above attributes about conversational content and write an introduction to an essay about why puppies are cute. <laughs> okay, so you can see this is still completely wrong, but we will go with this and we will copy paste it here to our AI content detector and let's see what it says. Okay, so we are at 90%, which is pretty remarkable, although this text doesn't really make sense, but you start to get the idea about how to play around with these prompts. But we're not done because this last method that I'm about to show you is very powerful. All right, so now what I did is I copied this first introduction to an essay that we had, and then I said, rewrite the content below so that it is not detected as AI content by AI content detectors, and then I pasted the thing. And now let's see what it says. Pups are loved worldwide for their undeniable charm. Okay, this sounds a bit more like humans, let's see. And our final check. <sighs> Ah, we got 60%, still quite robotic. Our second attempt was actually the best one so far. What if we click regenerate response? Okay, let's copy this and let's check it. Okay, we got 84%, better than 60, worse than 90, but still, I think you should be fine if you have 84 to 90%. So yeah, these are the three methods for how to trick AI content detectors and pass under the radar. Let me know if this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.